TFN. It's also available as a podcast on iTunes. Uh, don't forget you can listen to all TFNN programming on your smartphone. Just type in tfnn.mobi on your smartphone browser, and you can get the stream uh, that way as well. And um, I will be going over some uh, charts, as I always do on my uh, program. If you want to look at those charts live right along with me, just tune in to uh, Channel 1, Tiger TV, right on the homepage of tfnn.com. And my show is uh, archived on Channel uh, 13. So... Uh, don't forget, folks, about the uh, new uh, the Tiger Dollars promotion going on for uh, one more day, I believe, at uh, TFNN. You purchase $250 or more in Tiger Dollars by December 21st, and you'll get a 30% match from TFNN. You can use uh, Tiger Dollars to purchase newsletters and other premium products at uh, at the website. And um, also, TFNN will make a donation of up to 10% of your purchase price to the Salvation Army in your name. So uh, be sure to check that out. Uh, today is de December 20th. So I believe that ends uh, tomorrow. All right, let's check and see what's going on with the markets here. Pretty uh, pretty big day. Good to see for the major averages. The Dow right now is up, uh, we'll call it 327 points, 2.8% 2 to 12,093. The NASDAQ up strongly as well, 79 points for the NASDAQ. That's 3.1%. Uh, to 2602 and the S&P 500 up 36 points, 3% to 1241. Um, the ironic thing about today's gains, um, listen, what does it mean in the grand scheme of things? I mean, when you look back over the past five trading sessions leading up till today, and I'm talking starting last Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, last week in the market, you had big declines. Thursday and Friday, you had these feeble rally attempts where early strength was followed up by late session weakness, and you had these closes near lows. So bad day Tuesday, bad day Wednesday, uh, frankly bearish price action Thursday and Friday, and then we kick off the week yesterday with early strength followed up by late afternoon weakness. So five you know, pretty yucky sessions in a row. Uh, perhaps oversold, and we get a huge rally today. So what does it mean? Well, in recent shows, we've been talking about you know, looking for a follow-through day from the major averages. We had a rally attempt that started with the first up day on November 28th. And let's take a look at the, a chart of the S&P 500 here. You can see the first up day for the market, November 28th, was right in this area here. So now we're we're 17 days into a rally attempt, and the percentage gains today and the volume would qualify as follow-through if it holds, which it looks like it will. Um, major averages seem to be getting stronger as we, as we go on here. So is it follow-through? Well, we're 17 days into a rally attempt. Typically, you want to see a follow-through day on the say between the fourth and the tenth day of a rally attempt. So we're very late in the game here. Uh, if you want to see a follow-through day on the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, up to the tenth day of a rally attempt, you know it's generally going to give you a good idea that the rally could have staying power. But we're we're very late into this rally attempt. When you look at a chart of the S and P 500 here, you can see, despite a big percentage gain today, the benchmark index is still stuck underneath a descending uh, trend line, which happens to correspond to its. 200-day moving average. So it's a, it's it, there. There's still formidable resistance for the S&P 500 to, uh, to to get through. Let's uh, move over and take a look at a chart of the Nasdaq uh, Composite. Nasdaq Composite here, and you can see it's in the similar situation. Still stuck underneath a descending trend line. Uh, NASDAQ is outperforming today. Uh, you're seeing a lot of dead cat, dead cat bounces. Um, you, when I go through screens, which I've been doing all day, saying, okay, well, the market is acting strong today. What's out there to buy? And to that end, you know, we're kind of in that, that similar situation. I have a screen of, you know, generally 100, 150 growth stocks that I, that I look at. There's a handful that are rising in, in heavy volume. We'll go over uh, we'll go over one in, in, in just a little while. That is uh, that is making a move today in heavy volume. But by and large, a lot of low volume gains. So uh, I think today's action is is noteworthy. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to mark 
a meaningful market uptrend here. I'm open to that possibility, and I'll continue to look at my screens for buying opportunities. I'll continue to look for stocks that are under accumulation. But you know, right now, certainly, it's, uh, it's not the time to be moving all in if you've been uh, sitting on a pretty big uh, cash position. Is, is it okay to nibble here and there? Some stocks that are working today, I don't see anything uh, wrong with that because, you know, when you see the percentage gains that we're, we're seeing today, uh, it could mean something. And, you know, before you know it, the market could be up, uh, you know, 7 to 10 percent from here, and then you're wondering why, uh, why you didn't buy. So it's always important to, you know, keep watching the market on a daily basis. Again, the percentage gains today and the volume the, the volume on Monday was very light, as it's been on the New York Stock Exchange, 770 million shares yesterday. Looks like we could come in 20% higher than that um, level today. So we may not even get up to average volume on the New York Stock Exchange, but for a follow-through day, it doesn't need to be above average volume. It just needs to be higher than the prior session. So 770 million shares yesterday on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, we're tracking about 20% higher than that uh, today. So volume is heavier. Uh, same with the NASDAQ. Not as big a volume increase, but still 10 to 15% higher than Monday's level of 1.5 billion shares. Um, not a whole lot in the way of uh, breakouts today. Typically, when you get follow-through, you want to see no shortage of uh, technical uh, setups. Uh, one thing that's been going on in the market is the, the leaders – of the bull market since March 2009 have been rolling over. Uh, new leadership is in the process of, of setting up. There have there are some movers today. Visa's making a move. A, uh, a drug maker called um, Salix Pharmaceuticals, SLXP, is breaking out in, in heavy volume. So outside of that, uh, not, uh, not a whole lot. All right, taking a look at uh, crude oil today. Crude oil rallied uh, quite a bit, up $3.34. That's 3.6% 3 to 9722 a barrel. Take a look at a popular ETF, the United States uh, Oil Fund, which tracks the uh, spot price of West Texas Intermediate uh, Crude Oil. Um, this is, uh, has a bit of technical damage here. The USO is uh, up 3.6% currently to 37.51. It, uh, it fell below its 200-day uh, moving average recently, uh, fell below its 50-day uh, moving average as well. Uh, there's a little bit of technical damage here, which I'm uh, not sure that higher prices are, are going to you know, come here, what with the tec technical damage that's been done to USO. But uh, that, that uh, ETF is outperforming today, up 3.6%. And then uh, uh, gold bullion. Let's see what gold did today. Uh, up $20.90 to settle at $1,617.60 an ounce. Here's a look at the GLD. It's currently up 1.4%. To 157.05, a lot of technical damage done to the GLD recently. Um, really not sure you're going to see meaningful price gains uh, here either. So uh, gold is uh, was up nicely today, but uh, whether or not it's uh, ready to start a new uptrend here, very, very much uh, in question. Uh, some with oil up 3.6% uh, today, some, uh, some big movers in the oil and gas uh, space. I like a lot of stocks in the exploration and production group. Here's a look at Cabot Oil and Gas. Stock is up close to 7% today to 76.95. Still a lot of technical damage here as, as well. You can see uh, Cabot fell below its 50-day moving average in recent days. It's still trading underneath the 50-day line. That, that could uh, turn out to be a resistance level uh, for uh, Cabot. In the field services group, take a look at uh, Oil States International. Outstanding earnings and sales growth uh, at this uh, company. This one's a little more interesting because technically it's still intact. It's firming up at uh, support levels, and you see uh, a swing point here of 78.53, uh, which would be you know the high, uh, early December high here. So the swing point is 78.53. Uh, keep in mind that oil states typically trades about 650,000 shares uh, a day. Um, but, again, a lot of low-volume moves today. Uh, oil states up 6% to 74.79. Volume right now is only about 400,000 shares. So it normally trades 
Uh, normally trades about 650,000. So, you know, no volume behind the move today. Technically still intact, in but um, that's what we're, we're seeing. Pretty decent volume in the major averages in the NASDAQ on the New York Stock Exchange today. But a lot of these high-quality growth names, there's just not a lot of volume fueling these moves, which is, you know, worth paying attention to. When you see follow-through in the, in the major averages, uh, you want to see growth names busting out of, uh, you know, consolidation areas. You want to see them breaking out of bases, and you want to see some volume. You want to see just hints that institutions are in there buying. And when it comes to the majority of growth stocks out there, uh, really not much uh, happening in that front. Uh, also in the exploration and production group, we'll take a look at approach resources, A-R-E-X. On the NASDAQ, that stock is also doing well, up 5.5% today to 29.88. Pretty strong technical picture here as well. Uh, this is a fast-growing company in the Permian that does a lot of um, uh, exploring in the Permian Basin in West Texas. You see support at the 50-day moving average here. That's, uh, that's bullish. Uh, earnings this year are expected to rise 74% from 2010. In 2012, annual earnings expected to be up uh, 54%. So uh, good growth prospects at uh, approach. Uh, resources. Now, the thing with uh, approach, let me just get an average volume for approach resources. Uh, looks like about 590,000 shares. It normally trades a day. Uh, today, volume almost 200,000. So very, very light, uh, light moves and some of the uh, energy names uh, I'm following. Um, just took a look at the, the GLD. Let's take a look at Rand Gold Resources. That's uh, making a good move. A lot of technical damage done to Rand Gold uh, as well. Stock is uh, up 4.4% today to 105.06. Uh, so far, volume about uh, 330,000 shares. Its average daily volume, 675,000. So you get the, you get the picture here. Um, not a lot of volume uh, behind uh, some of these uh, some of these moves today. All right, folks, when we come back, we'll take a look at some other growth uh, stocks. I mentioned a couple of breakouts that are still working, so uh, stick with us. You're listening to Breakout Investing on TFNN. Homeowners, did you know a burglar could break into your home and get away in just five minutes? A locked door may not be enough to keep a thief out of your home. Think about what you can lose, and then think about this. Now you can get a free security system monitored by ADT, the leader in home security. Pick up your phone now and get free hardware, free medical and fire alert, and free activation. It's an $850 value. Just call Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, at 1-800-949-8207. You'll get 24-hour protection, and there's no cost for parts or activation. So call now about a free security system monitored by ADT. Call 1-800-949-8207. $99 installation charge. 36-month monitoring agreement at $35.99 a month. Call for terms and conditions to this offer and protect your home license numbers. Call now. 1-800-949-8207. That's 1-800-949-8207. Direction Shares Leverage ETFs fuse the benefits of exchange-traded funds with the innovation you expect from Direction, providing investors with opportunities to magnify their short-term perspective, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. Direction Shares, ETFs to the power of X. To learn more about Direction Shares, click on the Direction banner on the front page of TFNN.com or call 866-476-7523. There is no guarantee that the funds will achieve their objective. The ETFs are not suitable for all investors and should be utilized only by sophisticated investors who understand short-term trading, leverage risk, consequences of seeking daily leverage investment results, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. An investor should consider the investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses of Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus contains this and other information and can be obtained at directionshares.com. Please read the prospectus carefully before investing. Distributed by Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of The Money Game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look. 
Fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You are born to be a money master, and I'll teach you how. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Breakout Investing. Thanks for putting up with the phone connection today, uh, having some uh, issues getting uh, connected to the a home office in uh, Florida for that nice crisp clear connection but um we're working on those um working on those problems and hope to have them fixed uh, shortly um all right so uh you know I still keep in touch with uh, former colleagues of mine over at Investors Business Daily and uh I'm certainly going to be interested to hear what they have to say about uh, today's uh, market action again we do have uh, uh volume on both exchanges uh tracking uh, higher than Monday's uh, level, the, the, certainly the, the big percentage gains uh, today do uh, do qualify as uh, follow through. The issue is that we're you know seven days into a rally attempt, and typically when you when you look for follow through and you look for a confirmation of a new market uptrend, you want to see that follow through uh, happen much earlier, preferably between uh, the fourth and uh, tenth day of the uh, rally attempt. So it'll be, uh, again, interesting to see what the uh, the big picture column, their market uh, analysis uh, column, has to say uh, tonight. So, um, all right, so let's uh, let's take a look at shares of uh, Apple. Uh, Apple uh, certainly has uh, suffered uh, quite a bit of uh, technical damage. It's one of uh, several NASDAQ 100 stocks that we've uh, talked about on recent shows that uh, have been uh, rolling over. Technical damage done to Names like Priceline and uh, Amazon, Wynn Resorts, um, you know, some of these other you know, former high flyers has been much more severe. But uh, Apple, uh, interesting today. It's up 3.4%, uh, uh, slightly outperforming the NASDAQ, up $12.84 to 395.05. And um, what I did was I drew a descending uh, trend line. I connected the recent highs here. You can see that Apple has... Um, poked above that descending uh, trend line. So uh, traders uh, like like to see that. It is a technical sign of strength. It's important to note that Apple is not coming out of a base. It's not coming out of a consolidation here. Uh, in order for, for that to happen, Apple would need to be much uh, closer to its, uh, its former high around uh, 420. So this is not a base breakout, but today's action could be signaling a shift in uh, trend. There was a favorable ruling uh, for Apple today in a patent infringement case with HTC. Uh, there are also reports out there that Apple is uh, closing in on a deal to acquire Israeli flash memory developer Anabit for up to $500 million. Apple already has um, a business relationship with Anabit. It already uses the company's uh, chipsets 
in several of its uh, products. So uh, Apple uh, coming back uh, to life today, so that's, uh, that's good to see. And then uh, let's take a look at Salix uh, Pharmaceuticals. This is a stock that I have mentioned on the, uh, on the show before. Uh, Salix Pharmaceuticals company makes uh, drugs used to treat gastrointestinal diseases. Uh, pretty high quality stock here. Great growth in recent quarters. It's profitable. It shows good sales growth. Stock is at now up nine percent today, to forty seven seventeen. You had uh, an original breakout over thirty nine back in this area. Uh, right here. This was back in uh, November where the stock broke out in heavy volume. And then it started moving moving sideways. So some people would call this a, a handle area in a, a larger cup with handle pattern. But um, the news today for Salix Pharmaceuticals was that the company reported positive phase three trial resorts for a constipation drug. So uh, cleared a new swing point today of 45.37. At 47.17, you know, this one may still be in, in buying range. Whenever you buy a, a breakout over a swing point, you don't want to, you know, chase it more than 4% or so past uh, that swing point. So looks like Salix is uh, still within range here. Let's go over and take a look at a weekly chart of Salix, which, uh, as always, will give us uh, a longer-term uh, perspective. Here's a look at Salix, and you can see a big, long base that uh, that started earlier this year, late 2010, early 2011. And, uh, yeah, this this one could be poised to come out of a big, long base here. So certainly one, uh, one to watch. And, you know, volume is heavy in, in Salix today. Let's go back to the, the, the daily chart here. Uh, heavy volume breakouts, few and far between today, but see shares of Salix uh, getting stronger as the day progresses, now up 9.2% to 47.22. Big surge in, uh, in trading volume uh, today as well. So um, that's one of, the, uh, one of the few examples of a heavy volume breakout. Uh, economic data today, uh, November housing starts. Um, well, you know, so why is the market rallying today? I mean, there were a couple, a couple of, um, couple of uh, headlines. I'll tell you what. We'll, uh, we'll go over why the market's rallying today. We'll go over some economic data, some more movers uh, when we come back. You're listening to Breakout Investing on TFN. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Give the gift of silver this holiday season. TFNN and Great Panther Silver want to give you the gift of silver. From now until December 30th, TFNN will hold a drawing once a day, five days a week, business days only, and one lucky entrant will receive one of these beautiful coins that we will mail to whomever you desire. Winning one of these extraordinary coins could not be easier. There's no contest and no gimmicks, just a simple drawing allowing you to give the gift of silver this holiday season. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Did you know that the price of gold is up over 24% this year, while the GDX, the Market Vectors Gold Miners ETF, is actually down 1.4% this year? Not all gold stocks are created equal, and not all gold stocks move with the price of gold. In October, Tom O'Brien recommended a buy of FCX in his gold report, and only six trading days later advised his clients to close the position, profiting almost 22% in this one trade. During the same six trading days, the price of gold was barely up 5%. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, gives investors the inside edge they need to profit in this gold market. Each Monday morning, Tom issues a gold market update at around 9.30 a.m., then issues a full report each Tuesday afternoon. For as low as $75 per month, you can gain access to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. To order your Gold Report with a free 30-day trial subscription, log on to TFNN.com today or call 877-518-9190. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? 
No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley of Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister Mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York stock exchanges under the symbol GBG. This segment is brought to you by Direction Shares. To learn more about technical tools for the sophisticated active investor, hit the Direction Shares banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Breakout Investing on TFNN. Ken Shreve uh, with you. I'm on a phone today, just having some uh, difficulties hooking up with the uh, with the satellite to the home office. Uh, we're still working on that. Uh, I know you're used to uh, good, high quality sound from my studio in Los Angeles, uh, but we're making uh, we're making do. So, uh, all right, let's check on the markets here. We have got about 25 minutes left to go in Tuesday's uh, session. The Dow up 320 points, 2.7 percent to 12,086. The Nasdaq up 76 points, 3 percent to 2599. And the S&P 500 up 2.9 percent, call it 35 points to 1240. So good, um, good solid day taking shape for the market today in the. Uh, the five prior sessions, which I mentioned at the top of the show last week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, pretty bearish days for the market. Another bearish day on uh, on Monday. So while the big percentage gains today are nice to see, uh, you know, after after five straight poor uh, showings uh, for the market, you know, hey, you know, we we may have to to pay attention to it. We this could mark the start of a nice little pop for the major averages into uh, into the uh, end of the year. So uh, so we'll see. The 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 goal right now uh, for me being a growth investor, I want to start to see stocks coming out of bases. I want to see stocks uh, coming out of consolidation areas in heavy volume. Seeing a lot of low volume moves in the market today, which isn't the end of the world and doesn't necessarily mean the rally is due to fail, but bottom line is new market rallies need new uh, institutional buying. And there may be a little bit of it going on in the major averages today, but I want to really start seeing it in some individual uh, growth stocks. Before we get to some other names uh, moving today, uh, economic data. Why is the market uh, rallying today? Well, we had a positive headline out of Europe. I guess it was um, business uh, sentiment in Germany rose more than expected. Uh, not a major uh, headline, but uh, something that the bulls um, found uh, solace in and forced uh, shorts to uh, cover their positions today. So that was a bit of good news. Also, there was a Spanish bond auction that apparently uh, did well that knocked uh, yields uh, lower. And then on the home front, we had pretty good housing data. Uh, November housing starts jumped to 685,000 from 627,000 in October. That was much higher than expected. Housing starts are now at their highest level since April 2010. Building permits also did well. They rose to 681,000 in November. 
up from 644,000 in October. That's also better than expected. Uh, tomorrow, we've got uh, existing home sales data for November. Later in the week on Thursday, of course, weekly jobless claims. Uh, the third estimate to third quarter gross domestic product will also be out Thursday. That's, that's always uh, a big number for the market right now. Estimate is for third quarter GDP growth of 2%, same as it was for the second estimate. And on uh, Friday, busy day of economic data as well, durable orders for November, personal income and spending for November, and new home sales for November. So pretty heavy on the housing data. Wanted to take a look at the iShares Dow Jones U.S. Home Construction uh, Index Fund, the ITB. This is a, a popular ETF. It's up 6.3% today to $11.71. Uh, the ITB recently had a good uh, heavy volume breakout. It is now back above a, a buy point, and the buy point was uh, 1141, 1147 back uh, back in this area right here. Uh, and this fund has been under quite a bit of accumulation. It does seem like some some smart money has been coming into this fund, and home builders in in general, perhaps in anticipation of a. Um, uh, more good news for the housing market in 2012. So uh, shares of ITB having a good day today, up 6.3% to 1171. Um, so good news on the uh, home builders. All right, when we come back, folks, we'll take a look at some earnings reports today from the likes of General Mills and uh, Red Hat and get into some of these growth stocks on the move today. You're listening to Breakout Investing on TFNN. We'll be right back. As Tom says, go long America. Now you can join TFNN and Barnes & Noble to keep money in your community. Purchase Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system, before December 31st from your local Barnes & Noble store. And you will be given access to not just one, but two exceptional archived courses. Tiger Scaling, The Tiger Butterfly, and Gartley. The Art of Timing the Trade is more than just a book. It's an educational journey that will help you understand the Wall Street greed cycle and learn how to recognize profit from genuine price moves. So, for the cost of just under $30, you will receive an excess of $300 in trading education from Tom O'Brien, TFNN, and Barnes & Noble. And you will be helping to support an important local business, your local bookstore. If you do not have a Barnes & Noble in your community, then go to your local bookstore. We'll be sure to work with them to keep your purchase local. So let's support our local businesses, keep money in your community, and get a great education. But be sure to act now, because you have until December 31st to take advantage of this opportunity. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Studies show that 10,000 hours is what it takes to achieve outstanding results, unless you use the power of leverage. The power of leverage, folks, is key to attaining outstanding success in your trading and investing. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily trading and investment newsletter. Let me take your trading to a new level, a whole new level. Let me teach you the secrets that the real money masters use each and every day to produce consistent financial results. On top of that, I'll transform your life in ways you never thought imaginable. You'll overcome hurdles like an Olympian. Here's the beauty. I'm so certain that I'll transform your life. I'm giving you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Time, folks. Something you'll never get back. The time is now to take action. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and order Mastering Probability. It'll change your life forever. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. But you get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going uh, on? Well, I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighed of that was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. 
This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Breakout Investing on TFNN. I know I've been doing my show for several months now, and you're used to a good, crisp studio sound from my uh, from my studio in Los Angeles and uh, having some issues with that today. So uh, doing the show on the phone with you. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, movers today. Big percentage gains uh, for the market. Uh, you know, possibly it could end up being called uh, some, some much-needed follow-through for the market. Perhaps this is the start of a, of a uh, new uh, market uptrend. Uh, before we went into break, I was just mentioning that uh, I'm not really seeing much in the way of heavy volume breakouts today, but, you know, several growth stocks uh, acting well, albeit in light volume. Here's a look at Panera Bread. Uh, the stock is up 2%. Today to 137.34, still holding nicely above its 50-day uh, moving average. Uh, been mentioning the average daily volume. A lot of these um, stocks that I'm talking about today, Panera normally trades about 500,000 shares a day. Uh, it's up 2% today on volume of 155,000. So really not seeing much in the way of institutional buying in Panera. Uh, really not seeing much in the way of institutional buying when it comes to most growth stocks that I'm watching uh, move higher today. And, um, you know, you have to pay attention to that because if we are, you know, going to follow through here and if the big percentage gains today, uh, our confirmation of a new market uptrend, need to see more uh, institutional buying in some of these um, growth growth names. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, another name here, ticker SXCI on the NASDAQ, SXC uh, Health Solutions. Uh, this is a stock that has rallied uh, nicely off its lows. It is uh, approaching a swing point of $60 uh, right in this area here. Uh, SXC is a provider of pharmacy benefit management services, healthcare IT systems. Uh, huge growth in recent quarters for SXC Health Solutions. It uh, normally trades about 640,000 shares a day. Uh, volume uh, right now with about 15 minutes left to go in Tuesday's session is at 166,000. So volume well below average in SXC Health Solutions. Um, uh, revenues in the uh, latest quarter up 163% to uh, close to $1.3 billion, earnings up 57% year over year. The issue I have with SXC Health Solutions is it, even though it's a, it's a fundamental powerhouse, um, you know, I mean, you had a huge gap down here. I didn't check the news. It, this was during earnings season, so this may have been a poor earnings report from the company, but the stock... Um, you know, gap down big on October 24th, and uh, this is a stock that tends to trade a bit wildly. So even though it looks like it's on the verge of a breakout here over 60, and a breakout could work, I'm always uh, wary of bases and consolidations that show a lot of erratic, um, volatile price swings, and SXC does uh, does show that. So, a uh, lot to like about the stock. Technically, it's uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, mentioned uh, Salix Pharmaceuticals, uh, really one of the only heavy volume breakouts in the market today. Let's take a look at another uh, interesting name here: Cubist Pharmaceuticals, CB. ST. A uh, good example of a base uh, taking shape here. We'll take a look at a weekly chart uh, in a moment because it's an example of a base on base structure. You can't quite see it here, but Cubist, its main drug is uh, Cubicin, which is used to treat uh, certain blood or uh, skin infections caused by uh, bacteria. So Cubicin is an anti uh, bacterial uh, drug. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at a weekly chart of, uh, of Cubist. Actually, before we do that, uh, I didn't tell you how much the stock was up. Cubist up 4.5% today to 39.97. And while we're on this uh, volume theme, Cubist uh, normally trades about 1.1 million shares a day. Um, Volume, not too bad, 1.2 million. So it's going to come in slightly above average for, uh, for Cubist as it makes uh, a nice move today. And let's swing over to the uh, weekly chart here for Cubist. 
and good uh, good fundamentals, good good technicals here. And this is an example of what a base on base pattern looks like. And there's actually several of these uh, going on. So you know, good day for the market today. Uh, will Cubist eventually be able to take out its previous high of forty dollars and forty five cents? It's it's very close right now, but I highlighted both of the bases here. Here was the first base where the stock broke out, hit a high of forty forty five, but it broke out when the market quite wasn't quite ready to let it run yet. And what it did was it settled into a new base here. So this is the second base on top of the uh, prior base. And uh, despite a big price gain today, uh, still looking for a breakout here over 40, 45. Uh, a lot of good things going on at, uh, at Cubist Pharmaceuticals. Let's uh, move on and take a look at Nuance, uh, Nuance Communications, N-U-A-N, on the NASDAQ. This is a name that uh, we've talked about off and on on breakout investing. Another base uh, forming here, uh, Nuance was having problems trying to find support at its 50-day moving average. It did find support uh, today. It is trading back above the uh, line. Stock is outperforming nicely, up 6.8%. To 2560 uh, on volume of 4.1 million shares, and um, it's uh, that may seem like a lot of volume, but its average daily volume is 4.9 million. Okay, so it may not even get to its average daily volume uh, today. Typically, when a stock bounces off its 50-day moving average, you want to see signs that uh, that institutions are in there buying. Not really uh, seeing that in Nuance uh, today. Uh, but this is another high-quality uh, growth name worth watching here for an eventual uh, base breakout. Moving on, taking a look at solar winds. This is one of the, the few breakouts that worked. This was a good market leader for, for some time. Uh, you had a breakout over 25.46, I think it was. 25.62 was the breakout. Here was the swing point. Uh, the stock gapped up in late October after reporting strong earnings. It was actually a breakout that worked out quite nicely. Now it's come back to its 50-day moving average. Uh, the stock is up 4.3% today to 30.52. Uh, SolarWinds is a provider of network management uh, software. Uh, a, a definitely a respected stock on, on Wall Street. It's, uh, it's good support. Again, volume is not heavy today as the stock is uh, rising. It's uh, traded about 625,000 shares at this point in the, in the session, and its uh, average daily volume is about 1.2 million. So uh, very, very light volume of solar winds as it's firming up and it's difficult to open up. So some, you know, interesting growth stocks out there. Really the issue now is, uh, is volume. You really want to be buying when the institutions are buying. So, uh, Hi, we'll folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on lighter volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. Give the gift of silver. This holiday season, TFNN and Great Panther Silver want to give you the gift of silver. From now until December 30th, TFNN will hold a drawing once a day, five days a week, business days only, and one lucky entrant will receive one of these beautiful coins that we will mail to whomever you desire. Winning one of these extraordinary coins could not be easier. There's no contest and no gimmicks, just a simple drawing allowing you to give the gift of silver this holiday season. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Hi folks, Steve Rhodes here. Tom O'Brien and I need your help. Together, 
Let's change the cash for gold industry once and for all. Now is the time to unleash the game changer, and that's you folks. We've all seen the power of viral marketing. It's overthrown dictators, and now it's time to rid the thieves in this cash for gold industry. Together, we can change this industry in a heartbeat. You know about our industry-leading payouts, our free tools, our video valuation, and the education that we provide to help folks value their jewelry. Tom and I are experts and the industry's most trusted team. Please join us now by spreading the word to your entire email list. We'll pay you 5% of the total payout, which on average would be $50 per transaction. 100 transactions is five grand in your pocket. We'd rather put our marketing dollars in your pocket and more money in your referrals pocket. Go to TigerMetalExchange.com and click on the Become a Partner button to join our team. Let's start a revolution, folks. We can't do it without you. TigerMetalExchange.com, the only click you need to make. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your the Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, founder and CEO of TFNN, professional trader and educator. Also, a regular guest on CNBC, analyzing the commodity markets. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, up next on TFNN. Welcome back, everyone, to Breakout uh, Investing. Some uh, some technical difficulties in terms of my uh, connection to the uh, home office. That's why I'm on the phone today, but uh, we'll have that uh, cleared up for my next show on uh, Thursday. Um, let's go to uh, Nick in Oklahoma. I think Nick is, um, is uh, on the line. Yes, Nick, I uh, am. Nick, how are you today? Thank you. Thank you for taking my call. You betcha. Uh, question about Chesapeake Energy. Do you? It's a. It's not a high flyer by no means, but I was wondering if there is anything in it. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's certainly been sort of a, a you know a laggard uh, price performer in the uh, in the among the you know the oil and gas uh, exploration and production uh, companies could be uh, you know could be putting in a bottom here. It had a recent low of um, of uh, twenty two dollars and forty one cents. On Monday, it uh, came down, hit a low of uh, 22, and it's rallying today in uh, in light volume. Um, you know, at this point, Nick, you know, I know Chesapeake Energy has its uh, fans, but it's not clear to me yet that this is ready to start uh, a new uptrend. It is trying to put in a, a bottom here, but uh, I would wait for some uh, some volume expansion uh, to the upside. Before uh, before nibbling here, and if and if you do want to, you know, if you do want to buy down here in anticipation of it hitting a hitting a low, of course, you know, just put a put a tight uh, tight stop in. But still seeing more institutional selling than institutional buying in the name, and that is right. potentially problematic. Right, right. Thank you very much. If you have a moment, if you could take a look at Polycom, but if not, have a great day. Uh, sure, I'll tell you what. I'll uh, I'll take a look at uh, Polycom, and um, you know this is uh, this is another stock that is uh, trying to trying to put in a low here, 
A little bit different than Chesapeake. Obviously, it's a Polycom is a tech name. It's a it's a networking right. uh, networking company. Um, actually, seeing a little bit of accumulation in this name. So I, I think uh, you know your buy. It's probably a better buy here than uh, than than Chesapeake. Uh, you know, I like the price and volume trends. It's uh, you know not obviously not coming out of a base, but uh, for a buy, I like Polycom much better than Chesapeake here. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You okay, Nick. Thanks for the call. Have a good one. You too. All right, Nick from uh, Oklahoma, appreciate the uh, phone call. All right, folks, uh, coming up after the close, we're going to take a look at uh, earnings from uh, Nike. Let's take a look at uh, Nike ahead of the results. Uh, stock is uh, well, actually lagging um, quite a bit today. It hit an intraday high of $95.90. Stock is uh, now trading around 93.63, so a little bit of apprehension ahead of earnings, only up 25% on the day. Uh, the consensus estimate calls for Nike uh, to earn 97 cents a share, only up 3% from a year ago with sales up 16% to $5.6 billion. Uh, so that's uh, Nike trading near its session low today ahead of earnings. Also after the close, another high-profile tech name that has fallen on hard times recently. Has uh, a, lot of been, a lot of bad news been priced into the stock? We'll have to see. Shares of Oracle up close to 2% today to 29.15 ahead of earnings after the close. Uh, profit is forecast to rise 12% from a year ago to 57 cents a share, with sales up 7% to 9.2 uh, billion. So Nike and Oracle coming up with earnings after the close uh, tomorrow. More earnings reports from the retail sector. Uh, Walgreens, ticker WAG, is set to report. Uh, CarMax, KMX, and Tipco Software, TIBX. Also, earnings from Bed Bath & Beyond, another well-run retailer, high-quality retail name, shares of Bed Bath & Beyond, out with earnings uh, tomorrow. Stock is up uh, 82 cents, 1.4% to 61.50 ahead of the results. Total just about the 50-day moving up. Coming up, uh, folks, the Tom O'Brien Show on TFNN from 4 to 6 Eastern. I'll see you back here on Thursday. Have a great afternoon. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production and anticipated to be over 250,000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister Mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York Stock Exchanges under the symbol GBG.